I want to spend a few minutes here and go back over and kind of put some emphasis on the Horton method just, just briefly here. This is the Horton equation here, which has the uh, infiltration uh, as a function of time. Uh, and this is the uh, basically the constant infiltration rate that you reach here once it gets out to a certain length of time. And this is the initial infiltration rate. Uh, this is the decay constant uh, K. And so uh, when you go through this, uh, obviously, uh, if, you uh, if you have rainfall that exceeds this, then this is a very simple computation. You can actually look at the amount of infiltrated uh, water uh, in there as the integral of F uh, dt, OK? And let's get rid of those parents. And so uh, the F being this infiltration amount. So this would be the, it's basically the area under the curve. And so this F is cumulative uh, from zero to, oops, sorry, zero to some time T. Now, uh, one thing I left out in the other uh, lecture that, uh, the, the, the lecture 24 that I want to emphasize here is this aspect of the cumulative infiltration. And as I mentioned, this cumulative infiltration is, a, is the integral of the infiltration rate over some time. And so if this is the infiltration rate, if we look at the area underneath that curve, so let's say to this point right here, this is the area underneath that curve, that cumulative area is equal to the value of the cumulative infiltration uh, amount F. And so for the Horton model, this is the uh, equation for that. When you integrate F, remember F is FC, uh, let's go uh, right here, F sub C plus the FO minus FC times the, inter the uh, exponential minus KT, that is, if you plug this in here and then you do the integration, this becomes the equation. So when you work um, the example problem or, or the homework problem, this is the equation you're going to use to get the cumulative amount. Now, if you want to look at the cumulative amount in each uh, incremental time, you have to subtract one value from the next. So if this is uh, F at uh, T plus delta T, this is F at T. Well, the difference between these two is equal to the delta F. And so that's what you just keep in mind as you work through the problem.